I know Ryan will like this, so I'll videotape it. This is a 1980 Ford Fairmont. And I'm going to restore this. I'm going to get this back road worthy here real quick. Figure since the country is pretty much collapsing, that gas prices aren't going to get out of control. And this gets about 20 anyway, so it's not too bad. Um, it's been sitting a couple years. The front seal and the transmission blew out or something because it just pumps fluid out of the front of the transmission. So I figured I would just start it up for a few minutes. I'm going to, uh, I just stuck a battery in there. I'm going to um, use propane, run it on propane. Who knows, it may start with the original AM radio in it. I'm going to crank it for a minute and let some of the oil pump around in there. Engine light went off, so the oil pressure came up. Holds oil pressure pretty good. This motor was in really good shape. I'll leave the key on. Kind of stick that right there. I should have worn the helmet camera to do this because I can't do this with one hand, but we'll try. What I'll do is I'll just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this on here and I'm going to slowly open that valve. Give a little squirt there and it'll, should start right up. Let's see what happens. Nothing at all. Does it have spark? Let's see, where is the been so long? It's so long since I've even seen a carbureted car. There's just no more of them on the road. They're just all gone. Should fire right up on propane if it's got spark. Killing my battery already. A battery must be in pretty poor shape. with one hand. All right. Could be this. Maybe this box went bad. I don't know, it ran probably six months ago, or maybe it was a year ago. Maybe I'm just giving it too much propane, I don't know, let me let it sit for a minute. Should start right up.
Oh. Duh. get another battery. Okay, let's try this one. That's how it should start on propane. Now it's running on its own fuel, which is really old. I don't see it leaking at all. I remember putting some, I remember putting a few gallons of gas in it, but I didn't know I put that much in it. Accelerator pump isn't working. It's probably all just old and dry and hard. now this thing needs a lot of cleanup and a lot of cleanup and restoration oh yeah and the brakes don't work that's right I forgot the master cylinder crapped out oh no you don't oh no you don't And the brakes don't work at all, not even the e-brake. Got my brake fluid here. A whole gallon of it. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of working. This is all the way to the floor, no one's home. Probably the master cylinder's just dead. And also this, this coupling, I need to replace this. Right there is bad. See, let's see old school, old school Fram oil filter. Back when the oil still had zinc sulfate in it. That's why I haven't changed it.
Oh yeah, and this this is leaking. I forgot. I gotta fix that. It's weird. Last time the transmission was just gushing. Just a steady stream and it's just completely stopped. Oh well, soon to be made road worthy. When I got this car, it actually had all new upholstery and was really nice, and now it's just become a total, total wreck. It'll clean up though. I don't see any leakage from there, and last time it was just a steady stream. Yeah, I gotta get this back on the road. This, it's nice to have an old, an old car to roll around. I have to call on uh, call and see if I could get a master cylinder for this. Do the brakes. <laughs>